what where and what where how and when okay so and we will study in this what where how and when so uh, what is basically the history is history is a chronological account of events it means uh, one by one step by step it happens step by step it happens just like indus valley civilization and then uh, rigvedic civilization and then uh, uh, medieval uh, medieval dynasties and then uh, marathas and then modern india so it is a chronological event what whatever had happens according to date okay according to date or period okay so it is a chronological account of events as they uh, took place in the past as they took place in the past whatever happened in the past is our history okay why should we study history It means uh, why should we study we should study history as it tells us about our past matlab hamare itihas mein hamare purvajon ke sath aur hamare jo dada pradada hain aur sab each and every person okay uh, like rig vedic civilization how we study about rig vedic civilization how is we study about uh, indus valley civilization so in this way we study about history it gives us understanding about our ancient culture and lifestyle it gives us a, a understanding about ancient culture and lifestyle how was the lifestyle so the uh, the nomadic persons uh, those who were nomadic Uh, they used to go from one place to another in search of food because if they uh, they would have stayed at one place uh, then all the food would have lost okay so uh, it tells us how uh, we live our lifestyle uh, because we as we all know uh, our body system uh, works only in the sunlight okay our body system works only in the sunlight but uh, in that upcoming time period when we have developed electricity when we have developed electricity we have expanded our work capacity although uh, it is not beneficial for our health system the uh, the uh, if we work after the uh, sun uh, sunset if we work after the sunset or uh, wake up after the sunshine okay uh, then our body doesn't functions well so uh, that's the way our lifestyle was it helps us to solve uh, the problems of the present day world okay it helps us to solve the pro uh, problems of present day world so we learn uh, many things about our food habits about our uh, waking time period and i have seen it recently that uh, we have learned many things from past uh, in what way uh, just just to uh, just you can see that many of the people are going for early morning walks early morning walks that we used to go uh, 10 to 15 years back but uh, the people have now begin uh, the morning walk of 5 uh, 5 am and as you all can see uh, in this in this time of covid 19 the problem is covid 19 okay the problem is covid 19 of the present day world okay the problem is covid 19 of the present day world and what was the lifestyle in our past we are following that thing we are following that thing that's that that is the only reason that we study about history that is the only reason uh, we want to check our lifestyle we want to check our ancient culture we want to check our understanding okay we want to check our understanding so that is the reason why we study uh, why we study history why we study history because we want to check our lifestyle ancient culture understanding so problems has the solution in our past problems like covid 19 and uh, covid 19 has the solution only in the past okay uh, so whatever the pr problem occurs in our present day we always look back we always look back why we have suffered uh, through this because uh, as you all know uh, we are now lack in immunity although our medical system is highly developed but uh, our body system uh, has not uh, highly developed because our sleeping time has uh, mismanaged we have mismanaged our sleeping time period uh, we are uh, sleeping at 2 pm or 2 am or 3 am and waking up at 10 p uh, 10 am waking up at after 10 am many of the viewers are waking up after 10 am even 
so that that's the thing uh, that we need to uh, understand that uh, our immunity system is not good in present day world so that's the problem okay that is why we study in history and uh, who are the source uh, who are the sources of uh, history our parents our grandparents our books and uh, many of our uh, society okay many of our society our uh, understanding uh, our understanding our ancient culture okay these are the sources of history uh, time frames of history historians use a chronological sequence chronological sequence for a better understanding of birth of jesus christ okay birth of jesus christ has been uh, taken as zero taken as zero any event before christ is called to be as before christ bc uh, any event before christ before christ uh, what happens is that uh, as you all know the britishers have ruled all over the world so that's why uh, they believe in uh, which god christian god okay uh, jesus christ so uh, that's why they have forced all the world uh, to believe that uh, the jesus christ has created the this world although it uh, it is not true at all uh, but they have uh, made it compulsory all over the world uh, that they will have to believe that uh, the universe have originated when the jesus christ was born uh, although uh, according to many evidences and many things uh, we we know that uh, before christ the life was there in all the world okay called before christ bc and any event after the birth of jesus is called as anno domini anno domini ad okay zero bc and anno domini ad anno domini after christ nahi hai iska matlab ya fir after kai log keh dete hain after death after death of jesus christ no it is anno domini anno domini it is a, it is an event uh, jaise hum uh, krishn mein janmashtami manate hain uh, usi tarike se anno domini jesus christ ka birth birth ka sequence batata hai ki uh, jesus christ ka birth kis tarike se hua theek hai timeline of history is divided into three stages prehistory uh, proto history and history where did people live uh, people lived near river near river valleys this was because rivers provided uh, water for all purposes as you all know uh, that um, some of the ancient civilization just like egypt civilization egypt civilization was near nile river uh, was near nile river and uh, indus valley civilization was near indus river so these are the most ancient uh, civilization so uh, through this we come to know that uh, where the where the lifestyle begin uh, the, the lifestyle of the people begins near Uh, rivers and where the civilization uh, happens only near the rivers provided water for all purposes traces of life were found near uh, suleiman and kirtar hills suleiman and kirtar hills in northwest suleiman and kirtar hills in northwest traces of life okay traces of life traces of life even existed along ganga along ganga महाजनपदास लाइक मगध काशी वज्जी एटसेट्रा मगध काशी वज्जी एटसेट्रा ओके फ्लोरेस्ट 2500 इयर्स अगो फ्लोरेस्ट 2500 इयर्स अगो द हिमालयन माउंटेन हैज एक्टेड एज नेचुरल बैरियर बिटवीन इंडिया एंड सेंट्रल एशिया सिंस एजेस हाउ वाज द नेम इंडिया वाज गिवन हाउ वाज द नेम इंडिया वाज गिवन इंडिया डिराइव्ड आवर कंट्री इज कॉल्ड इंडिया एंड भारत Bharat was Bharat was used by the people of North India. By the people of North India, as you all know, uh, that in Mahabharat it is also given uh, the name of Bharat. Uh, but uh, in history, what we study that Bharat was a uh, name of a place. Okay, was a name of a place. North India in the Sanskrit composition, uh, Rig composition, Rig Veda. the word indus traces uh, its roots from the river indus okay uh, river indus which is called sindhu sindhu and uh, w- uh, from where the word hindu has derived uh, the word hindu is also derived from this word sindhu because the people from 
सेंट्रल एशिया दैट इज सऊदी अरब उजबेकिस्तान कजाकिस्तान किर्गिस्तान फ्रॉम दीज रीजन द पीपल वर नॉट एबल टू स्पीक एस लेटर एस लेटर दे वर नॉट एबल टू स्पीक द एस लेटर that's why they used to call uh, the people who live beyond indus river be beyond indus river that is sindhu river beyond uh, Sin sindhu river uh, they used to call them hindu hindu although they want to uh, call them sindhu but they cannot speak the word s so that's why they call them hindu hindu is not the word uh, derived in india in hindu is the word derived from central asia okay in sanskrit sindhu in sanskrit so we are actually the people of sindhustan not hindustan okay because we live uh, our identity has never been on the basis of religion our identity is based is on the basis of indus river uh, the people who live beyond indus river इंडस को हिंदी में क्या कहते हैं सिंधु रिवर द पीपल हु लिव बियॉन्ड सिंधु रिवर आर नोन एज सिंधु ऑल दो द वर्ड मिस स्पेल्ड बाय सेंट्रल एशियन पीपल्स दैट्स वाई वी आर नोन एज हिंदू हिंदू इज नॉट अ रिलीजन बेसिकली इट इज एन जोग्राफिकल आइडेंटिटी इट इज अ जोग्राफिकल आइडेंटिटी हिंदू इज नॉट अ रिलीजन ओके how do we know about the past archaeologists and historians study several sources to tell about tell us about the past there are two sources archaeological and liter literary archaeological and literary archaeology archaeology kya karte hain apne chaku se aur in sab cheeze wo testing karte rehte hain ki bhai yahan pe ye civilization rahi hogi yahan pe ye civilization rahi hogi तो दे बेसिकली डिग द लैंड मट्टी खोदने का काम है एक तरीके से ठीक है आर्कियोलॉजी द स्टडी ऑफ ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री एंड प्री हिस्ट्री थ्रू द एक्सकेवेशन थ्रू द एक्सकेवेशन सो मट्टी खोदना मतलब एक्सकेवेशन एक्सकेवेशन ऑफ साइट्स एंड द एनालिसिस ऑफ फिजिकल रिमेन्स एंड द एनालिसिस ऑफ फिजिकल रिमेन्स आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट यूज सोर्सेज लाइक मॉन्यूमेंट्स आर्टिफिक्ट monuments artifacts inscriptions and coins inscriptions and coins what what are the sources of archaeologists monuments artifacts inscriptions and coins handwritten or any other uh, written records of the past is known as literary source is known as literary source literary sources uh, what are the literary sources include two types of literature religious literature and secular literature religious literature and secular literature why studied uh, sources of history why why do we study sources of history there were two groups of people who uh, studied history uh, one was called archaeologist one was called archaeologist and the other group was called historians archaeologist and historians archaeologist studied uh, remains of buildings made of stones bricks paintings and sculptures archaeologists studied remains of buildings made of stones bricks paintings and sculptures okay the other group uh, the other group called historians were the people who studied the past and used information found in inscription seals and scripts seals and scripts okay uh, seals were basically uh, the thing uh, that we used to give as a stamp to other nation that this product is made in india so seals are the thing uh, that gives uh, basically the stamp of india that uh, this thing is made in india so scripts mein hum kya dekhte hain ki scripts whatever the type of uh, scripts we have written okay it is a kind of language it is a kind of language so scripts mein pictographic scripts hain or many of the scripts are there and that we will study further on so uh, chapter 2 uh, on the trail of earliest people on the trail of earliest people uh, we should know about earliest people so it is a brief introduction about history uh, our history will start from 1st of august aap sabhi se agle mahine milte hain kyunki kal ki chutti rahegi theek hai
human life has evolved over millions of years in early stages men uh, were hunters and food gatherers they uh, hunted wild animals fishes and um, gathered fruit, fruit, fruits and nuts and seeds fruits and nuts and seeds why did earliest people lead a nomadic life uh, why do earliest people lead a nomadic life if they stayed at one place resources like plant and animal would finish resources like plant and animal would have finished so uh, as i told you earlier uh, agar wo ek jagah pe rahenge to kya hoga ki sare resources khatam ho jayenge theek hai because they don't know agriculture at this time they don't know agriculture at this time so that's why uh, they were basically dependent on nature and i think it is the best form uh, that human could have lived if they they wouldn't have developed this technology to study शाम को रोटी खाते सुबह को रोटी खाते और लाइफ मजे से जीते पढ़ने की जरूरत ही नहीं पड़ती जबरदस्ती आई एस की पढ़ाई करो उसकी पढ़ाई करो करना फिर भी वही है खा, खाने के लिए जीना है बस आई जस्ट लव नोमेडिक लाइफ जबरदस्ती सारा पढ़ाई का झंझट ही खत्म प्लांट्स बी आर डिफरेंट फ्रूट एंड डिफरेंट सीजन so men to head uh, to move in search of these as per uh, seasons as per seasons so plants bear different fruits different fruits kabhi aam khate kabhi sev khate kabhi kuch khate kabhi kuch khate to luxurious life to yahi jeet hai apna tour ka tour hota jayega aur kya kehte hain khana ka khana so people had to move wherever uh, water was available wherever water was available the problem is started when we stop at one place okay all the problem is started when we stop at one place so these are the nomadic peoples uh, they use uh, stones and other things to cut flesh and uh, all the things how do we know about early people archaeologists have found out several tools used tools were made of stone from a woods etc tools were used to cut meat chop fruits etc wood was used to make huts and firewood huts and firewood where did early men live early men lived near sources of water they lived near places where stones were found and people made tools and people made tools the place was called factory the place was called factory so these were the factories of the earliest peoples these were the factories of the earliest people where the stone tools were made to cut the flesh of uh, animals okay they lived in places where stones were found and the people made tools the places were uh, was called factory sites the factory sites uh, were found near discarded blocks of stones discarded blocks of stone these were uh, known as habitation come factory sites habitation come factory sites stone age the period uh, when mostly stone tools were made is known as stone uh, stone age uh, when stone tools were made these uh, this time period was known as stone age uh, these are the paintings done by stones only okay it is divided into three parts paleolithic uh, you should write these three names right now first is paleolithic a paleolithic or old stone age old stone age a okay this is your paleolithic time period next is mesolithic or middle stone age so you can see many of the stone tools are being discovered in middle mesolithic and middle stone age neolithic neolithic mein kya hua ki most of the tools were made sharp were made sharp so here the more and more uh, discovery of the tools has been done and here the finding of the uh, weapons finding of uh, finding of the weapons is being done the weapons are made fine okay such that it cut and cut the flesh very well so it is uh, paleolithic 
Paleolithic or Old Stone Age, Mesolithic or Middle Stone Age, Neolithic or uh, New Stone Age. Making stone tools. Making stone tools. Stone tools were made using two techniques. Stone tools were made using two techniques. Stone on uh, stone on stone and uh, pressure for, uh, flaking and pressure flaking. So fire was discovered at this time period. Man discovers fire. So man discovers fire at this time period. And uh, accidentally, one of the biggest discoveries made by man was fire. Okay, uh, stone on stone, they rub uh, stone on stone and they made the fire. Over a period of time, men learned several uses of fire. Over a period of time, men learned several uses of fire. It was used in winters to keep warm. It was used in winters to keep warm and use it in the art of cooking food. And use it in the art of cooking food. Okay. So, cooking food, ke liye, uh, fire was discovered. Early rock paintings. Men, uh, early caves had paintings on the walls. As paintings on the walls, so they had the paintings on the walls. These were found in uh, Madhya Pradesh and Southern UP. Uh, recently, one of the cave has been discovered in Madhya Pradesh of, uh, again. So uh, these, that's why it is important. They will ask you in which state uh, the early rock paintings were found. Okay, uh, that is MP and Southern UP. Early men's painting uh, painted and uh, that they felt in these paintings. They depicted on hunting uh, women, uh, grinding children, jumping. Okay, the Deccan. Paleolithic sites have been found in the Deccan. Paleolithic sites have been found in the Deccan. Some major sites are Chirki, Nevasa, and Maharashtra. Chirki, Nevasa, and Maharashtra. Karnul in Andhra Pradesh. Karnul in Andhra Pradesh. And Humsi in Karnataka. And Humsi in Karnataka. Rivers like Godavari, Kama Krishna, and Tapti drained the region. Drained the region. Okay. Karnul in Andhra Pradesh and Pumsi in Karnataka. So, uh, as we know about this, that river like Godavari and Krishna were very are very ancient rivers. So, uh, rivers like Godavari, Kama Krishna, and Tapti drained the region. That's why we always study Indian geography. At first, because Indian uh, Indian history is basically related to Indian geography. So, if you always mix Indian geography with Indian history, then your answer will be the best. Uh, okay, always uh, remember this. Uh, if you study Indian history, then you should be good at Indian history, or Indian geography also. Indian geography also. So, uh, you should study Indian geography always first. Uh, before studying Indian history, okay. Karnul in Andhra Pradesh and uh, Humsi in Karnataka. Humsi in Karnataka, rivers like Godavari, Kama Krishna, and Tapti drained the region. And Tapti drained the region. Large number of Paleolithic tools, large number of Paleolithic tools made from stone have been found among the river. Have been found among the river. So, Paleolithic uh, tools, Paleolithic tools have been found in the rivers. Uh, archaeologists are studying these tools carefully to understand the life of early men. To understand the life of early men. Okay. Chapter 3, uh, from gathering to growing foods. From gathering to, to growing foods. The new stone age started a new era in history. The new stone age, okay. Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and Neolithic. So Neolithic uh, time period ki baat kar rahe. The new stone age uh, started a new era in history. After leading a nomadic life for uh, many years, men around 10,000 years uh, begin to lead a settled life. Begin to lead a settled life. The beginning of food produce. The beginning of food produce. As climate of the world changed, men observed several things, areas uh, where edible plants were found. Where edible plants were found, uh, how seeds broke off stalks. 
fell on the ground and how new plants uh, sprouted from them so uh, in this way uh, the men begin to food produce uh, men begin to food produce because they learned that uh, trees are emitting some seeds and the new trees are being formed by them the new trees are uh, emerging from them so in this way uh, so in this way easily day by day they learn uh, how uh, the nature is working how we can modify it okay according to our need as climate of the world changed men observed several things areas where edible plants were found edible plants were found edible matlab khane yogya how seeds broke off stalks fell on the ground and new plants sprouted from them men started uh, cultivating crops men starting cultivating crops the first crops to be grown uh, were cereal were cereal and barley were cereal and barley this is how uh, by use of sickle men became food producers or farmers this is how we became farmers agriculture changed the life of the men they started leading a settled life so yahan se hame ek settled life milne shuru hui we uh, begin to settle at one place so uh, in this way we will we will now uh, what we will do we will exploit the nature as much as possible according to our needs okay men as herders humans uh, even begin to tame or domesticate टेम और डोमेस्टिकेट एनिमल्स लाइक सो अब यहाँ से हमने नेचर को ऑक्यूपाई करना शुरू कर दिया बिगिन टू डोमिनेट द नेचर सो नेचर को डोमिनेट करने के चक्कर में हमने क्या करा एनिमल्स को भी पैट बनाना शुरू कर दिया ओके डॉग हॉर्स पेग गोट डंकी शीप एटसेट्रा दे फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट एनिमल टू बी टेम्ड वॉज डॉग ओके पालतू की सबसे पहले किसे बनाया एनिमल्स प्रोवाइडेड मिल्क मीट एंड इवन कैरेड बर्डन ऑन देयर बैक मिल्क मीट एंड बर्डन ऑन देयर बैक एज यू ऑल नो ऑक्स डू द बर्डन वर्क ह्यूमन एज इन्वेंटर्स ऑफ व्हील द अर्ली रिवॉल्यूशन इन अर्ली मेंस लाइफ केम विद द इन्वेंशन ऑफ द व्हील व्हील ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड मेंस मेन व्हील ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड मेंस लाइफ will transform men's life traveling and objections traveling and carrying heavy ob uh, objects from one place to another uh, place became faster became faster how was the invention of a pottery important pottery ki invention just like this okay pottery ki invention uh, men learned to uh, make clay pottery men learned to make clay pottery shaped by hand baked in fire hand baked in fire potter's wheel helped them uh, to make pots of different shapes pots of different shapes and sizes so uh, in this way our cooking start uh, because of pottery we will we were able to uh, cook we were able to cook how do we know about farmers and herders archaeologists have found many traces of life of early farmers traces of farmers and uh, herders herders were available through traces of pottery through traces of pottery uh, pet houses comma tools paintings and daily life and daily life traces were found in uh, mehargad mehargad uh, burza home at northeastern parts of india etc the uh, chalcolithic age the chalcolithic age means uh, the age of charcoal Okay, it was around six thousand years back that men started using copper. Okay, the men started uh, using copper. Tools of copper were better than that of stone. Uh, so here the tools of copper begin to to be made. Okay, uh, it was also called uh, the copper stone age. The copper stone age because uh, some were using copper and someone using. stone so that's why it was known as copper stone age chalcolithic age was known as copper stone age it marked an important important transfer, uh, transition from use of stones to metals use of stones to metal so casting of uh, these metals was done in uh, 
चारकोल फील्ड मीन्स कोयले के खदानों में इनका एक्सट्रेक्शन uh, शुरू हुआ दैट्स वाई uh, इनके एक्सट्रेशन एक्सट्रेक्शन की वजह से इन इस एज को क्या बोलने जा रहा लगा चार्कोलेथिक एज सो कॉपर की वजह से दिस एज वॉज नोन एज चार्कोलेथिक एज देन नॉर्थ वेस्ट मेहरगढ़ मेहरगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट द अर्लीस्ट नोन सिविलाइजेशन ऑफ इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट सो यहां से हम स्टार्ट uh, करेंगे कल को ठीक है इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन से The earliest known civilization of Indian subcontinent was Meherghad. Meherghad, now in Pakistan. Now in Pakistan, it was here uh, that men first tamed animals and uh, re reared uh, them around 7000 BC. 7000 BC, uh, charred grains and bones of animals were found here. Glazed uh, fans, glazed fans, beads were made. Beads were made. the northeast evidence of early settlements were found in manipur tripura garo hills settlements not the humans okay the evidence of uh, early settlements were found in manipur tripura garo hills okay garo hills uh, one important neolithic site in assam was dau jali heading dau jali heading traces of polished stone tools ceramics and kitchen items were found here kitchen items were found here follow our uh, so this is your uh, whole thing tomorrow we will start uh, from indus valley civilization through ncert means uh, it, it will not be completely ncert it will be ncert notes uh, and some of the things i will show you Uh, in videos and uh, pictures so that all will be included thank you join me at uh, uh, 10 10 10 10 pm